So how do you get mercury out of the, the blood and the gut? Well, we use a system of products. One of them is moving through the intestines and it's binding all of the mercury that's coming out of the bile, binding it very tightly and taking it out so that you don't reabsorb it. One of the problems with metal detoxification is that even when you link mercury to glutathione or cadmium to glutathione and you dump it in through the bile duct into the small intestine, a large portion of it is reabsorbed. So you want products that will go through the intestine, buy, stay in the intestine, bind the metals, and carry them all the way through to excretion. How long did it take you to develop these? Are they chemicals or what? Well, there's or natural mix. components. Uh, they're natural components. Uh, we use a uh, one thing is a silica particle that's got sulfhydro groups on it uh, or sulfur groups that bind the metals. Uh, it didn't take me too long to develop that, uh, at least initially. We went through several iterations of it until we got the most uh, compatible version for the human body. But then really dialing in the whole system, assembling the different plant compounds around it to get the enzyme systems working in the cells, and bringing the best forms of glutathione into the body took another oh, two to three years to develop after that. I'd already been working in mercury chemistry for eight years at this point, so I had a very advanced understanding of how mercury binds to things and how it moves through the body, so it made it a little bit quicker to develop. But we've developed our protocols over, over several years now uh, to make them the most efficient and to make it the easiest on the body to get things out of the body.